We could spend a moment uh, talking about uh, we talked we talked a little bit about privacy when we talked about the CDBCs, but um, we should really spend a little bit of time with just about general internet privacy, like uh, mm. because there are, there are ways to protect yourself um, from uh, just having. I, I think we we generally call it hygiene, and, and there's a number of things to keep your computer clean. You know, you could use antiviruses and things like that. Um, but that's a but security. Just, that's not a, it's a security that's a, thing. Remember, it's, a lot enough. of people get confused, yes. and I'm interjecting because I talk to a lot of people about this. Yep. You mention antiviruses, and you mention privacy like a mm -hmm. VPN or something, right? Um, pro security is your is your Windows Defender. Security is not yeah. Kapersky well, I um, right now. So but I your security like is your Avast, together. maybe not Avast. Is your security is an antivirus, a good bit defender. There mm -hmm. you go. Um, but yeah, I'll let you go. Are you going to say something about VPN no, or something? I, I, I'm getting there. Like I just... I use the word hygiene, not security or privacy. I said privacy, but I think they, there's an overall idea of uh, using your computer, especially in the world of crypto, to help keep out the bad guys, uh, help keep yourself private, uh, and so people don't know. Like, like the worst thing I see online is you know is people telling them that they have any crypto at all. Um, you know, people can assume it, but actually saying how much or or what you have, those kind of things are are bad practices but one of the things i do um that we could, that i was hoping we could maybe spend a time on is is mm -hmm. i i basically do everything behind a vpn um you know as as much as i can if things fail because i'm on it um then i make the decision to either be uh, to go off of it because i need that thing or there's another way around uh or not use it often it's not i'm not well if i can't use my vpn i'm not using this one mm -hmm. place where you can't use vpns for example is is like when i try to access my online bank they want to make sure i'm in america so my vpns are usually i usually put my computer <laughs> route my computer traffic through something uh, either in europe uh usually europe for me um and uh, then I find that I can't use some of my banking applications. So correct. So there's places where you either have to take it down or do something different. But most of my browsing, all of my crypto, everything that I do is is behind a VPN that tells the person or that tells the website that I'm interacting with that I'm not where I am. Um, it also provides another layer of encryption um, be between uh, me and the uh and the vpn uh service that i'm using um for me uh i run my own vpn uh server uh, a lot of people use nord and some other ones the problem yep. i found with nord is that there's a lot of sites that recognize nord addresses and will still Correct. block it um so i launched my own i've had very few problems with it um it's i find it not that easy like <laughs> Once I had, I, I bought a new computer, setting stuff up on my end, uh, I had to redo it and I hadn't had to touch it in like two years. So it's very reliable. But when you change things on your end or you decide to just change things on your servers, then uh, you got to relearn everything, which is a pain. Whereas if you just use something like Nord, uh, you don't have to do any thinking. You can just use it. But, you know, there's downsides too. Right. So, so I think I think what it should be said about uh, Neegs is in a, a little bit different situation. But for you and I, mm -hmm. I choose European VPNs for some countries' philosophy on privacy. Right. So it's not mm -hmm. just you're private with your VPN, but a VPN is not a cloak. It is like a direct tunnel to a location where you pop out in that location and then you go mm -hmm. to where you want to go most closest to wherever you popped out. So nobody can see what you're doing on your way there. Once you're there, they can see everything and you're in where you start. They can see everything. It's about the privacy of everything happening between those two points. I use European. Um, some of the European uh, countries will have relationships with those vendors, whether it's Nord or someone else, uh, even antivirus programs offer um, uh, VPNs like Avast, but there's also free VPN. There's also, you know, all sorts of things. I also personally run my own private server, 
my own server that operates as a VPN, as you do. Um, and I have that server hosted in a European country. That's exactly that respects what I do. privacy. Yep. So choose something when you're using your VPN and you're using your local banking. If you're in Missouri and you're going to go to your bank, which is your local bank, it's okay to select your closest, um, the fastest link to your VPN. If you're traveling outside of the United States and you need to get to your bank um, and you're in Europe or South America, I experience this because I travel a lot. If you try to use a VPN like Nord, and let's say you're in a country in, uh, let's say Costa Rica is an example, I couldn't even get to my bank using Nord uh, to go to my bank. I actually had to set up a remote server, just kind of like the remote VPN, a remote server that I could log into and then do my banking in that state where the bank was. Otherwise, I couldn't even use VPN. So there's all sorts of hurdles you have to go through. But when you're trading, it's a lot easier. You're trading, you want to maintain your privacy. You don't want anybody to see what you're doing. You want to maintain that privacy. Uh, choose a country um, of origin that is a privacy-centered country to hook that VPN into, like Switzerland or something yeah. like that. I you use might Switzerland. Have some better ideas yeah. on what those <laughs> would be. It's better than EU, but yeah. because otherwise then US also has access to it again. Correct. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. At the end of the right. day, I think, What's important to understand is how, why a VPN could be important for you. Mm -hmm. And so whenever you go around on the internet, you're basically, every time you connect on the website, you're sending a bunch of data, right? Mm -hmm. Every time you connect to that website, you're sending a bunch of data. And, and if you're connected from uh, your home or your phone, and then you don't have a VPN in between, then you're basically advertising all those information to the website you're going to. And if 100%. you don't want to do that, you want to be a little bit more private. You want to make sure that you control the data that is going there. Um, one of the things that you can protect uh, with a VPN is the location you are actually uh, contacting the website from. Right now, all your requests will be coming from that uh, third party endpoint. And all your requests will be coming from there. And for the website, you will be calling from that other that other place. And so that is something that could be extremely useful. Um, I guess you've seen probably a lot of um, ad, a lot of ads on the internet about that. I think we don't. We should get our sponsor for VPN. It looks like we should. Yeah, <laughs> we should. Yeah. <laughs> I, but yeah, I think the main um, thing it is can be extremely practical, um, yeah. especially to make sure that. You you keep your privacy or at least some part of your privacy, like your location. Yeah. You don't let other restrict your access to this thing or the other thing. Um, it gives you a lot more control than without it. Um, I'm not like Rob. I'll not use it for everything. But every time this is something I care about, I want to make sure I, I keep the control. I'll definitely use the VPN. When I use, when I use, when I'm trading, I always use a VPN. When I'm using my banking and I'm here, if I do use a VPN, I use a local VPN. I don't always use a VPN here local if I'm if I'm doing that kind of stuff. But when I'm trading, I always, 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 there's never a time I don't use a VPN. Um, you pointed out something specific, which I think is both scary because most people don't understand it. Um, and they should be aware is that when you do connect from your local IP address to said websites, they're tracking you. If you don't think that they are, you're crazy. There are much, much, there is much, much, much documented information. There is, there is uh, documentaries on these kinds of things where all of these different services, they're all interrelated with Google. They're all interrelated with Amazon. They're all interrelated with Facebook. They're all interrelated with all of these big providers, Instagram and all sorts of things that they're tracking. There's little cookies everywhere. And so when you're at your static IP location at your house, you connect to that IP, what do you share? You share your location. Hello, most people don't even know that. That's why, of course, master nodes from your home were never a good idea. 
your internet service provider broadcasts a, a sort of genericized list, depending upon that provider, of what your <laughs> geolocation is from your IP address. Um, there's all sorts of information that is shared. So always practice hygiene, good internet hygiene, and prevent um, people from creating a social profile, a buyer profile, a network profile, and everything profile about you. So it's not just security or privacy in that way. It also helps you from being inundated with things to manipulate you to buy stuff. That's a whole different issue. If anybody out there hasn't watched um, The Social Dilemma, it's actually the title is The Social Dilemma. It is a free documentary on Netflix. It will disturb you immensely. Your kids, you probably will rip the phone out of their hands and take them off of their TikTok and Instagrams because you'll see what these companies are doing. And it's all done by people who used to work in some high level position at all of the companies I just mentioned. I think they I left those that. companies because they're stealing and they're manipulating you. And you know, there's a whole there's a whole yeah. manipulation and buying that that goes on and and it's pervasive in the social media i almost said dilemma the, but anyway is that the show where they they kept i mean because they didn't want to talk about far right or far left they talked about the far center or the radical center uh as, as i the, don't remember that but it's, yeah. it is it is a radical really smart. hyper capitalist mentality yeah. where you become the product yeah. and so it's not just all about privacy it's there but they are compiling information about who you are all you have to do is log into something where they already have your name and information and they have your ip and you log into another site which is also connected with some company which's aggregating that stuff well they know it's you even though you didn't even put your name in there because you're on a list with this ip address yep it's massive what they're doing to us so if you can you use a vpn well what happens well now you're using a vpn that VPN has an IP on it, but whose is it? It's not yours. It's the right. service it's some, you're using. So right. some no matter what you're yeah. doing, they can't tell if it's you or, hey, Rob was just using this last. So maybe it's Rob. Oh, Neeks is using it tomorrow. So they have no idea. They can't build a profile. And it's really good to make sure you are diligent at your hygiene for privacy it will affect your browsing experience <laughs> mm -hmm. how about that that's right and so yeah. like it's very important your hygiene is like we talked about that many times about the seed phrase it is um it is the same thing like you have to make sure that you're conscious when you go on the internet Correct. and the vpn to make sure that you control what is the identity that you project when you move around is um is a great tool <laughs>